Hey guys, um, today's video is going to be a little different. Um, yesterday I made this huge seven pound ham and we have all this leftover. So I had an idea yesterday that I make, um, use the leftovers because I don't like wasting them. And I do it four ways for breakfast, lunch, dinner, and a snack. And I show you guys what I'd be making. Okay, the first thing I'm going to make me making is the breakfast. And it's a potato gratin with ham. And so the first thing I'm going to do is um, peel these and cube them. So I'm going to do that. Okay, that. step one is done. I said cubed earlier, but I meant sliced. And you need around two cups of potatoes. I use like this size and then like a little smaller one to make two cups. So next I'm going to chop some ham. Okay, now I'm going to grease this pan. See, it's just a little. I'm going to do it good so then the potatoes and stuff don't stick to it. Okay, I think that's enough. And then uh, I'm going to put the potatoes in there. I put the potatoes in there and just laid them out kind of evenly. And I'm going to preheat this oven to 325. Get that going. I'm gonna okay, chop I chopped my ham. It's about a cup. And I'm going to pour that into the pan, too. It's hard to hold the camera and do this at the same time. There we go. Okay, that's that step. Um, and I think I'm going to make the, like, um, I forgot what you call it. Bechamel sauce, I think. The cheese sauce. So... Okay, I next. lied. I forgot. I need to cut this onion. I'm going to mince this, and I'll be back. Okay, guys. Well, I minced my onion, kind of. It's more chopped. And then I'm going to put it in there, which I'm going to have to do this off camera because it's too hard. And then I'm going to go ahead and start on my bechamel sauce. Oh, and that's, they said about a teaspoon of minced onion, but that's probably about two or three tablespoons, which I'll okay, be Okay, guys. I'm starting on my bechamel sauce. I'm melting butter. This is, um... A third of a cup of butter and I'm eating it on medium or melting it on medium and here's all my other ingredients that I'm going to add to it um, <clears throat> this is one and a half cups of milk a cup of cheese um, this is three teaspoons of flour and some salt and white pepper um, it's about I think a half a teaspoon and just a dash of pepper and when this melts I'm gonna add in my flour which I'll show you so I'll be back. Okay so my butter's melted now I'm gonna add my um, flour and I'm gonna stir the flour until it thickens and I'll be back. Okay. My flour is all nice and combined so now I'm gonna add my milk Sorry. And I'm going to add it in gradually, so just a little bit at a time. Okay, I'm going to stir it. Okay, add a little more. This is hard to do. Sorry about all the noises in the background. I got a fan going on. My mom's watching TV. All that stuff. Alright, so now I'm going to add a little more. Stir it a little bit. Add a little more. Once I'm done um, combining this together, I'm going to let this um, stay on the stove until it gets bubbly and thick. Okay, and that's the rest of it. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, stir this and let it continue to heat up. And when it's bubbling, I'll be back. Okay, as you can see, this is bubbling. It's gotten thicker. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add the uh, salt and pepper. I'm going to 
clean that all out and stir it up. And what this is is a cheese sauce. Cheese sauce. I literally can't talk. It's called. I think it's called pronounced and called bechamel sauce. Okay. So then I'm going to add the cup of cheese. And there we go. There we go. Sorry, my mom's talking on the phone. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to cook this until it melts all together. And then I'm going to pour it on top of there. So I'll be right back. Guys, I poured the bechamel sauce or the cheese sauce on top of there. Looks so good. Oh, my God. Now I'm going to put that in the oven. I got the oven set to 350. It's been heating up. So I'm going to go ahead and put this in there. You bake this for 35 to 40 minutes. And I'll be back so you guys can see what it hey looks Hey guys, like I pulled done. my um, potato and ham gratin out of the oven and it looks so good. And we're going to eat. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and start on my next thing it's going to be my um, snack and the first thing I'm, I'm making um, ham salad so the first thing I'm going to do is bring these eggs to a boil um, I got it on medium heat and I'm going to boil some eggs um, now how to make a perfect egg is you cover them with water cook them on medium till they boil cover them, take them off the burner, and let them sit for 8 to 10 minutes. So I'm going to do that, and okay. then I'll be As back. you can see, I have cut up about 3 cups of ham, um, about a quarter of an onion or a half of an onion, and one celery stalk. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put all of this in my, um, what do you call that, chopper, and chop it all up. So I'm going to do that. Okay, as you can see, it's all ground together. And um, I'm going to go ahead and wait for my eggs still haven't boiled yet. While I was doing all that, still haven't boiled. Um, <clears throat> I'm going to let those boil and probably prepare the sauce that goes in there. So, Okay, guys, I made my dressing. Um, it's a cup of mayonnaise, a tablespoon of mustard, and uh, three, or no, four teaspoons of... Um, uh, sweet relish and then I'm going to mix this together and then I'm going to add it into there and I'll be right back. Okay, I got the dressing and it's all mixed in there. I'm still waiting for the eggs to boil. So once they boil I'm going to let them sit and, and I'm going to um, for t 8 to 10 minutes then I will pull them down, chop them up and add them in and I will show you when I'm guys, done. Guys, my eggs are finally done and I chopped them up. I'm going to put them in here. I'm going to mix this up and I'll be back. Okay guys, I'm done with my second dish. This is, um, you can use for a snack or you can have it with uh, crackers or you can even have it on a sandwich. So, it's ham salad. Okay, now okay, the next. last meal I'm going to make is um, the dinner meal, and it is ham caponata, as I think is how you pronounce that. Sorry if I'm pronouncing it wrong. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and chop up a half a cup of um, this ham. And actually, I'm making this one ahead of my lunch, so it'll be done, and I can just heat it up later. But anyway, so I'm going to chop up a half a cup of this. Okay, and I'll guys, so I chopped up the ham, and now I'm going to slice the garlic, peel it, and slice it. And then, I okay, guys, done. I got my garlic all sliced and chopped up. Now, I got my water boiling for my pasta, or while it's on, it's not boiling yet. And in the meantime, all that's kind of getting hot. I'm going to go ahead and make my sauce, which is two eggs and a cup of Parmesan cheese. It says freshly grated, but I don't have that. And you kind of mix them together. And um, I'm going to go ahead and get my um, all this in a pan with some uh, about four tablespoons of olive oil. And hey guys, well, I got my little sauce mixture mixed together with the eggs and cheese. 
Got my oil in the pan. I'm using this electric skillet because it's big. And my water is just now boiling. I'm going to put in my pasta. And then I'm going to go ahead and um, heat this up and add my ham and garlic in it. And I'll Guys, I got my ham and my garlic cooking over here in the olive oil. And my pasta is almost done. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take that out, reserve some of the water, and some of the pasta water, and drain the rest. And I'll be back. I got this pulled out now. I, and I have my pasta water reserved. And I'm going to put the pasta in there and toss it around a little bit. Okay, you guys, I got that in there and I've tossed it around. Um, I have to remove it off the heat, and this is an electric skittle. So I'm going to actually put it in the pot that I cooked the pasta in, and I'll be back. Okay, guys, I got it in the pot now, and I'm going to take uh, my little sauce mixture, put it in there, stir it around a little bit, add a little pasta water, and I'll be back. Okay, guys, I got it all mixed up, sort of, but as you can see, there's like... The lighting's bad right now. It's getting dark out. See, there's like little clumps of the cheese. And that's why you add some pasta water. And you just add a little bit at a time. And you want it to make it a, like a sauce consistency. So you just add a little in at a time. So I'm going to do that because it's hard to do with one hand. And I'll be back. So hey you guys, guys I'm all done. I don't know if you can tell, but it's kind of saucy now. Instead of being clumpy, see the sauce? And I'm done. And um, next I'll be making my little my uh, lunch meal. I made this. I figure I could eat it up for dinner. Okay, guys. I've got my last meal that I'm doing. Um, I'm making uh, Monte Cristo. And so you take three pieces of bread. And you put mayonnaise on it. This is homemade mayonnaise my mom made. Because we actually ran out of mayonnaise. Um, <clears throat> anyways, you spread mayonnaise on it, then you take ham, and I'm using this, um, Mexican style blend cheese, which you're actually supposed to use Gouda or Swiss, which I don't have, so. Anyways, so you take the ham and the cheese, and you put it on the bread, so you're going to take ham and cheese, or mayonnaise, ham and cheese, mayonnaise on both sides mayonnaise ham and cheese and stack it okay and then you're gonna take butter and you're gonna put it in your pan melt the butter take your, your whole sandwich like this with the ham and cheese centered in it and dip it in egg this is egg milk and paprika salt and pepper then you're gonna fry it in butter, and I'll be back so you okay, guys. Okay, I'm gonna see. try this one-handed. So I'm gonna take. I put mayonnaise on all of the bread, and then I'm gonna take ham, slices of ham, and I'm gonna put them on the bread. Sorry about the lighting; it's getting dark. Okay. Then. You're going to take this piece, put it on top of that bread. Oh, wait. I lied. No, wait. You got to put cheese. Put some cheese on top of there. Okay. Now, mayonnaise side down. Put it on top of that. And then... I'm going to put um, some mayonnaise, ham, and cheese here. Put that piece, mayonnaise side down. And okay, I'll show you what it is all together. See, I got ham and cheese on this with mayonnaise side down. I'm going to do this sandwich. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to dip them both in the egg mixture. And then fry them in the frying okay, pan. Got my back. butter melting in there, and I'm gonna dip these in the egg batter and put them in there. Okay, guys, back. I got them all. The butter all melted. Dipped them in the egg, 
and I got them cooking in the frying pan. And I'm going to cook them until they're brown on both sides, and I'll show you guys when hey guys, they're done. I'm done with my last meal, and I'm about to eat. Here's how it looks. It looks good. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm going to make it into, like, four parts. Alright, so thank you for watching. Bye.